Hey everybody, it's Brayden here again with another sketchy question. Um, somebody asked how to make a uh, curved stringer on the side of the stairs, and I've never actually done that, so I tried a whole bunch of different things, and this isn't my favorite solution, but it does seem like the most practical one. So I'm going to start out with a circle as the uh, base of this project and I did a 12 foot diameter. The edge doesn't have quite enough segments to it so I'm going to open up my entity info window and with that edge selected I can give it more segments. I'm going to double it to 48. Then I'm going to make this a component and we'll just name it base for now. So then I'm going to draw a line from the origin along the red axis to the edge of my circle. Then I'm going to zoom in here and find the end point in the, on that circle and draw a uh, triangular shape back to the origin. I'm going to double click my circle and edit the component so that I can uh, do this offset right here. And I actually want that to be about Let's see, four feet. Nope, I gotta undo. Let's try that again. Wow, that is just not working. There we go. Four feet. Good. And I did that. So now that I've uh, edited, exited, excuse me, I've exited the component, I can trace along that line again on this outer edge as well. I'm gonna erase away my extra lines. So what I'm left with now is this shape right here, which is going to be my step. So I'm going to push pull that up about an inch. And I'm going to make that a component also. Now, uh, all this so far should be familiar. Uh, this is how you would make any set of spiral steps. I'm going to rotate a bunch of copies of this step around now. And... We want that to be a 7.5 degree angle, and I think I need to do it 11 times, so type 11x, and I get a bunch of copies all the way around. I'm going to hide this base component for now, so I can just work with these steps. Um, so the next thing is to copy a bunch of these in the vertical direction about 11 inches. I'm going to do it 12 times and this is just for my example set of stairs here. All these measurements and how many times, how many steps you actually want are uh, based on your particular stairs. So I'm going to select all these steps and I need to delete away the ones that I don't want. So what I'm actually going to do is deselect the ones I want to keep, which are going to be along this diagonal path here, like this, all the way around. Hopefully you can see that selection in the video. Uh, so now that I have all, all the ones that I want to delete, I will do that, and I'm left with just the ones I want. So, I've got my step, which is good. I'm going to double click inside. Actually, I'm going to do this second one. It'll be easier for me. Um, so once I'm in this step component, I'm actually going to triple click, select everything, and I'm going to make it a nested component named step. And uh, you'll see why I do that in a moment. So then I need to start working on that curve stringer. So I'm going to draw a little construction line here, uh, six inches down on the blue axis. And because I'm doing this in a component, you can see here, actually let me just exit out, you can see every one of them has that little construction line in it now. But what that lets me do is draw a line from the end of that down to the next one. And you can start to see I have a curve sort of starting. Got that. And I want to do it again 
from the uh, opposite corner. I'm going to go along the blue axis about uh, six inches again, let's just say. And then I'm going to go from, from there up to there. Great, so now I'm going to get rid of these vertical lines. And then I'm going to draw a line straight down from there to there. And another one there. So now I have a face I can start working with. And it would be really nice if you could just push pull this out like an inch or so. But uh, as you can see, there will be gaps in the side. So that's not, uh, not going to be available to us today. But what we can do is head back over here to this bottom step. And I'm going to do that just so I can utilize this red axis. And uh, I'm going to come out like one inch. going to go up to the top of that face and then back over to there. So now I've got that face, which is good. And now I'm going to do that again along the red axis. Oops, I need to snap to it. One inch. Oh, Yep, that's right. I don't want to do that. Let me uh, undo that last line. So, well, let me go forward again and show you why I can't do that. So if I just utilize the red axis, I'll end up with that same gap like I had before. So I can't do that. But I can use this as the basis for my line. So this angle of this line is perpendicular to the step above the one that I'm actually working in. Um, so when I draw this line down here, it's not going to create a face because these four lines aren't coplanar. And uh, to take care of that, I'm just going to draw in a triangle. And I'm going to uh, make that line soft and smooth and hidden. So now, uh, we do have an actual face for that. So same thing again on the upper edge. I will snap to there, back to there. I don't have a face yet, so I'm going to draw a triangle. And then I'm going to soft, smooth, hidden. Very good. And let's see. I think my last step here is I need some more vertical lines to fill in this space right there. So now, exit that component, and that's the uh, basics of getting a stringer along the edge there. We can kind of make it look prettier though. If we come in here, we can, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, let's see, window, model info, components, I'm gonna hide stuff for now. But I don't actually need this face here because we're never going to see that. So I'm going to delete those. You know, actually, before I delete those, I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to deselect that face. And I did that just as an easy way to select all the edges there. And same thing, soft, smooth, and hidden. And then I'm going to delete that face. Boy, that did not work. Let me undo, undo, undo. Well, it was a nice thought, but I guess that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do, delete these faces. Ah, dang it. Here we go. And now I'm going to select just these edges at the end. And they'll be soft and smooth and hidden. And let's get a top view here, and I'll select... These other four edges, same thing, soft, smooth, and hidden. And really that's just kind of to clean up the way this thing looks. So that uh, 
when we look at it, they kind of blend together. And there are different ways. I You can still see the line work there, which bothers me. And I did a whole bunch of testing trying to figure out how to get that to go away and a whole bunch of other techniques. And I never uh, came up with a good solution. So uh, if anyone else has a, a better way to do this, I would be happy, happy, happy to hear from you. Um, now, I've got that. I kind of want the uh, stringer to be, well, you know what? Before I do anything else, let me draw this inner stringer. It's going to be basically the exact same process as before. Let me close this thing. All right, so this lower edge is going to come down six inches. Actually, now I need to <laughs> uh, let's turn that on. We're good. So let me edit this thing. So we got that, very good. And similarly from the other corner, it didn't snap correctly. So there we go. Six inches vertically up, then along the next path. So now I've got my inner stringer. And I can start building these faces again, just like before, along the red axis, one inch, then I'll come in here, get my other one, draw my triangle there so that it uh, fills in the face, soft, smooth, and hidden, very good. Do that again on this uh, upper edge. So this corner, one inch along the red axis. This other corner, use my line work as the basis. Snap back down there. Stitch everything together with a triangle. Clean up the line work. Oops, uh, not quite done. I need some vertical faces here and one at the end here. So this minus this needs to be soft, smooth, and hidden. And then let's see if I can do this without hiding everything. Okay, so it says I have five entities selected, which isn't what I want. That means I have the four lines and then that vertical face selected. So I'm going to have to gotcha. go back in here, deselect that face, clean up the line work again, like that. Very good. Cool. Now, that's a... Uh, you could leave it like this if you want, but I kind of like to separate things out, so I'm actually going to select all those components and explode them. And that's going to help sort of blend these faces together. Not perfect, but like I said, I tried a bunch of different ways and it was just not working for me. So we can uh, draw the edge of that face back in. We can get some... Uh, lines going again. Well, and the reason I made that a step, a nested step component earlier was so that when I exploded all those, they would still be uh, components. And I'm going to triple select this. I'm going to name that a, I'm going to make it a component called the uh, outer stringer. Hope I spelled that right. Same thing on the inside, triple click. I think I got it. Triple click. Triple click one more time. G to make a component. This is the uh, inner stringer. There we go. There we go. Now we have uh, some steps that we can work with. Cool. Tiny. An easier way to do that, I think. If I just view hidden geometry, I can unhide all those. Very good. Let's 
painting over here and hide those edges on uh, just this end piece I was wondering they have a face wow I did something wrong right there Z Z Z Z control Z control Z huh I don't know I think there's not a face there to begin with which is why it wasn't working so there we go we can Clean all that up. We're good. I'm going to uh, hide all that geometry again. So hopefully uh, that works for you. It's a little bit jagged around the edge. Not my favorite, but that is the, the best I came up with. So hopefully that helps you out. See you next time.